In this video, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil the Great Bear and the Smart Helix Apollo Light Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back. Welcome in, welcome in. We have a great one for you today. Today, we're using a brand new soap that hasn't been released yet. This is Murphy and McNeil and also Black Mountain Shaving, the Great Bear. And let me tell you, this smells fantastic. The cost on this is $24.99 for four ounces and on our cost chart there. That is a painful $6.24 an ounce, but let me tell you, this one smells so good, I wouldn't even worry about the price. I would buy this with my own money, no doubt, because it smells spectacular. I'm gonna put the notes for you on the screen right there. Cinnamon, honey, bergamot, plum, fig, rum, uh, tonka, vanilla, and some other things as well. It is very, very robust. And scent strength, oh man, it smells great. I absolutely love the scent. I can't even speak because this one just smells great. And Murphy and McNeil has a way of doing excellent collaborations and so my hats off to Black Mountain Shaving, Murphy and McNeil and I believe Chicano Design Rafa did this label which is beautiful. I really like it uh, a lot. Again scent strength are very good on this one. This is in the Kodiak base. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there and what Murphy and McNeil generally does their initial releases are in Kodiak and then later they make it in Aeon Either way, it's great. I like the Aeon base just fine. Kodiak, either one works really well for me. So we're looking forward to using this today. And this goes on sale, by the way, at 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 April. So 7 April at 10 a.m. Eastern. Check this out. It smells great. All right. The razor for today is one of my all-time favorite razors. This is the Smart Helix Apollo light razor and it is just well made. It shaves so great or allows me to shave great I should say. Um, it is just a fantastic razor made in the Ukraine and of course once again our hearts go out to the people of the Ukraine and their families. Uh, Andre from Lancaster is from the Ukraine. Um, talked to him on the phone a week or two ago and um, we just want to use this again today. It's really one of my favorite razors of all time. It would definitely be in my top five of all time. That's how good this razor is. Sadly you probably can't get it right now because where this is made in Ukraine, that uh, city has been shelled and uh, it's just, it's a terrible tragedy, not because of this razor, but just because of the humanitarian, you know, aspect of it. Anyway, uh, let's get to the shave and try to enjoy ourselves today, but we're using a really, really finely crafted razor. In my opinion, one of the best in the world today. All right. Let's miss the face and I, re I will uh, remind you as always, the links to the products that are available will be below. I will also include links to the Great Bear, but remember, that doesn't come out until 7 April, so keep on watch for it. It smells fantastic and it lathered uh, quite easily with no problem, which is always the case with Murphy and McNeil. Our brush today is the West Coast Shaving Infinity brush and we'll do two passes today. My wrist feels a little bit better today, so but we won't push it. We'll keep it to two passes. And uh, I did not make a high volume of lather. Don't really need to, to be honest. Just enough to get these two passes in. It doesn't have to be super thick or anything like that. Really what's required to get a gray shave is not that much to be honest with you folks. So don't worry about how your lather looks. Worry more about how it performs. So if your lather, I say this all the time, if you're getting excellent shaves from your lather, your lather is good. If you're getting poor shaves, maybe your lather isn't. You know, it, it just really depends. There's other factors too, but um, you just need to get that basic bit of slickness going and uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. That is good enough. And man, oh man, does that smell great. I, I don't know what I smell predominantly in this. I think you can definitely get the cinnamon right off the top, but it just smells great overall. Let's cut that back a little bit there. Oh, I was trying to pull the sink knob with my right hand. That's a no-go. And life with the left hand is it's not as easy as my dominant hand here. All right, let's go. Oh, yes. Very smooth. This razor might be the smoothest 
razor that I own while still being efficient. It might be my absolute favorite. I don't know. I'm going to have to try it against some of my other favorites. But. There's something about this one. It achieves good efficiency while being perfectly smooth. The blade, of course, Gillette and Acid. And the soap is just fantastic. Murphy and McNeil just makes great soaps, period. And if you do buy something at Murphy McNeil, you can use the promo code IMCDB there. It helps the channel. I don't know if you get anything out of it at all, to be honest, but it helps the channel if you do. So thank you if you do. That is always appreciated. And man, what a, what a shade today. And this scent, it just brings a smile to my face. It is really good. This to me would be one of, in the running for the best scents of 2022 um, so far. Very, very nice indeed. And the one I used from First Line Shave was also outstanding. This one is also quite a robust scent as well. However, it, it leans on the, the bright side in that top, I think, but it's very good. And again, um, 10 a.m. Eastern on 7 April. I know Murphy and McNeil post their times in Central Time, but no one that doesn't live in Central Time knows what Central Time is. So we give it to you in Eastern Time because normally people give things in Eastern and Pacific because that's the time zones people are most familiar with. So 10 a.m. Eastern, and I believe that's nine central, maybe. <laughs> and that is a.m., by the way, folks. All right, excellent first pass. Excellent, just super smooth. That scent is just filling the room. Fantastic. I think a lot of people are going to love this scent. I think it's going to be one of those uh, soaps that many people are going to enjoy a lot because I know I certainly am. And we'll uh, lather up here for our second pass here, second and final pass because I don't want to push my wrist here. I could shave with my left hand, which I can do with a straight razor, but honestly, I'm not quite as good with my uh, left hand for DEs. It feels extremely awkward. I can do it, but it's very, very awkward. <laughs> you know, just because you're used to using your right hand probably 90% of the time, and then all of a sudden you can't use it as well and you're in trouble. So I probably should be using my left hand a lot more in daily activities going forward. Uh, it's been getting a workout now, so. <laughs> and again, I did not make much lather here because I just wanted to make enough to get two passes in. So the lather might be a little bit light, but I promise you it is good quality. It is slick, slick, slick. And uh, as always the case with Murphy and McNeil, I've never had any quality issues with Murphy and McNeil. And I wouldn't expect to have one today, quite frankly. Right, let's cut that back just a little bit there. I can't even do this as well with my left hand. <laughs> I tell you, that's a pain. Let's see if I could do a little bit better. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. Sorry about this, folks. As I know, I know it's a little cumbersome and awkward for you, and believe me, it is for, for, for me as well. All right, here we go. Outstanding. Oh, that feels phenomenal. This razor, the Smart Helix Apollo Light. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the person that I heard talk about this razor was Jack from the Virtual Groom Room, and he was not wrong, because this one is just supremely well made. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this, I'm gonna go um, way out there, because I've owned two Wolfman razors in the past, right? And the Wolfman razor is fantastic, marvelously crafted. It is a masterpiece of craftsmanship. But this razor, um, I appreciate the way it shaves better than when I owned those two Wolfman razors. There's just something about it that is perfect for me. And it might be just the puzzle piece that just fits perfectly for me. It just, every time I use it, I'm like, man, this is a good, good razor, great razor. And so I just really like it. And it's very well crafted too. The fit and finish on this is very, very good. Now I'm not knocking Wolfman, but any stretch of the imagination, I'm just saying that this razor, just the way it feels to me, the way um, the way it shaves, it feels better to me than what I recall my two Wolfman razors feeling. Now, do I wish I had kept one of those Wolfman razors? Sure I do, because now they're sky high and the time they weren't that expensive. 
but I let him go for charity. Um, because at the time, Subcommander Carrie Seibert, her son, got in a very um, serious car accident. And uh, I auctioned one off for charity. I may have traded one, and then one went to charity, if I remember correctly. I don't know. It's been so long. <laughs> I don't know. But the point that I'm really getting at is this is a fantastic razor. And we can't ignore the soap today. And I'll tell you right now. Um, the question I like to ask when I'm sent an evaluation product is, would I buy this with my own money? And the answer is absolutely and positively yes, because this scent is fantastic. I absolutely love it. And you can see there's plenty of residual slickness there, no dragging of the razor, no pulling of skin. Just fantastic. Wow, we. That was just excellent. <laughs> Let me touch up here real quick. And boy, oh boy, what a very nice shave that was. And you see on this side over here, even though the, you know, I've been shaving over there, it's had a chance to dry out, still plenty of residual slickness on that side. So Murphy and McNeil, folks, if you haven't tried it, give it a try. It is very good. And this one is fantastic. So I can't wait to see what you folks think about uh, Big Bear on April 7th. All right, let me set that down and we will rinse and come back with the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam we did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent, excellent shave today with Murphy and McNeil, the Great Bear. I think earlier I said Big Bear at some point. It is the Great Bear. It is fantastic. It is a terrific collaboration with Black Mountain Shaving and also uh, Rafa from Chicano Design who did the label. This is an awesome soap. And yes, I would definitely buy this with my own money had I not been sent it. It is spectacular. And I think a lot of people are gonna love this one. So don't forget to pick this one up on 7 April at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern if you are interested. Uh, we use the Smart Helix Apollo Light Razor, which is out of the Ukraine, and it is just a masterpiece, in my opinion. I love the way I shave with this razor. Just fantastic. Sadly, you probably can't get it right now, but hopefully we'll see Apollo making, or excuse me, Smart Helix making razors again someday because this one is just absolutely terrific. We used our West Coast Shaving Infinity Brush, and it's in our uh, Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug. And we're going to finish it out today with the Great Bear Splash from Murphy & McNeil. And one thing about these splashes from Murphy & McNeil, they are more expensive, but boy, they are filled to the top. There's, it's not one of those where you get the aftershave and it's halfway down the bottle. So let's see if I can pour some into my left hand and apply it one-handed. Well, that's a heck of a restrictor on there. Ugh. Yeah, really good restrictor on there. DK would like this one because it's, it's a proper restrictor and I'm just gonna sort of slap it on. Oh man, whoo, whoo, <laughs> that is a good scent. Wow, that's good. Oh, I love that. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much for joining me today, folks. I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.